Hey all, and welcome to Tech Fact Friday. Today, we're going to be looking at one of the most basic but fundamental building blocks for every computer and computing system. We're talking about binary code, specifically binary numbers. You know, the alterations of zeros and ones arranged in differing order to transmit information. However, long before even the most rudimentary computers existed, like the one Charles Babbage came up with, Binary language existed in several different forms across the ages and civilizations. But before we get into the history, let's make sure we all understand what binary language is. When talking about binary numbers in computing terms, we're speaking of zeros and ones. But in terms of binary language in general, it can be any two opposite things. After all, the prefix of the word bi means two. A switch in the on and off position represents what could be the basis of a binary language. Arranged in an infinite number of ways, flipping a light switch could technically become a language of its own. And if you grew up with an electric bill obsessed parent, it may already be one you know. As far as the creation of binary code, Gottfried Wilhelm von Leibniz often gets the credit for inspiring the binary numbers we use in the world electronics. However, binary language, or base 2 systems, existed several hundred years before Gottfried wrote his system in 1679. The indigenous tribe on the island of Mangareva in the French Polynesia created a binary system to keep track of large transactions and trade. Prior to even this culture, the writings that gave Gottfried his inspiration was a Chinese text called Yijing. What makes the link to this 5,000-year-old Chinese document most interesting is that its writings are on philosophy and divination, and the title translates to Book of Changes, or Classic of Changes. What drew Gottfried to make mathematical conclusions from it was the inclusion of hexagrams, formed of dashes, either broken or unbroken, signifying the yin and yang, symbols in Chinese philosophy that denote opposites. In a text he wrote, Gottfried believed that all things could be broken down and expressed as sequences of zeros and ones. This became the basis for the modern-day binary code. But others beyond Gottfried also helped inspire the use of this language in computers. George Boole used this to create Boolean algebra in 1854. This system is a little more complex, but it is still based on the idea of two opposing meanings. In this case, he used the number 1 to represent true, and 0 to represent false, for logic-based operations rather than mathematical ones. Boolean algebra could be an entire complex episode of its own, but basically any probability statement in algebra can be answered in true or false. These logic operations are used in computer programming languages and circuits, the fundamental components of computers. That's all we have time for today. Check out the link in the description to learn how to write your name in binary numbers. Remember to share, like, and follow for more content like this. Until next time, it's time for an upgrade, a technical upgrade.